Did you like that footage? Well, good, because there's more on the way after I chat at you for a few minutes. Howdy, YouTube. I'm making this video more because I got a brand new camera than anything else. No, you're not looking through the new camera. I wanted to start out showing you what my normal camera looks like. Here's the new camera. Ended up with a little Ion Air Pro, first generation. Um, got it by accident. I was just browsing eBay one day. Saw that it was up for an auction. It was like, I don't know, 30 bucks, something like that. So I was like, ah, heck, I'll put a $40 bid on that. Never figured I would win, right? Matter of fact, I even forgot about the auction until I got the email notification saying, you won the camera. And I'm like, wait, the camera that I bid 40 bucks on? Yeah. Uh, the only thing wrong with it is the mounts for it that come with it were all broken. And the person that was selling it said the whoever wouldn't replace it for them, so they were just going to sell the camera. And because they wanted the mounts, and I'm like, I don't care about the mounts at all. You know, I'm going to put it on a tripod for 40 bucks. I could care less about the mount. Uh, it's a pretty nice little camera. I've used it just a little bit, and that's what this video is all about. I took it out with me on site a couple days ago and basically just set it up on a tripod and let it run. Moved around a little bit here and there, you know, just to see what the different angles were like and see what the sound was like, see what the picture quality is like, you know, that kind of thing. But uh, I was building Corel for a customer, so I didn't want to stop and mess with a camera. And that's a big reason why I've never filmed on site work, is because I don't have the time to set up the camera, frame the shot, get the focus in, you know, do everything that I normally do with my DSLR camera. Um, I've been looking for this, you know, turn it on, you literally just flip the switch from stop to record, wait until the light turns red and you're recording. That's all you do to it, you know. Yeah, anyway, so in all my rambling, try to make this as short as possible. This video is just some really quick test footage, I guess you would say just to see if this camera is worth anything. However, I can tell you from the little bit I've used it, I seriously doubt I'll ever be using it at the lathe. I'm gonna try it in a video just to see what it's like. Matter of fact, I'm filming a project that I normally wouldn't film just to see how bad the fish eye messes with everything around the lathe because this thing actually has a 160 degree field of view on it, which is insane and I can't get my head wrapped around that idea. I'm used to just focusing on one little spot, you know, when I normally film. So, it's, it's going to be a change for me. It's going to be a change for my channel if, when I use this camera. I'm going to have to figure out the edit and the framing and really change my thinking of cinemography when I use this thing. So, anyway, enough rambling. I don't even know what I said now. Uh, but just to give you a quick idea of the difference in lens, is this is my normal camera that I use. This is the lathe. I uncovered it just to kind of give you an idea of where we're at in the shop and kind of give you a field of view and everything. So I'm gonna put so I'm gonna put this camera on the tripod exactly where you are. Just switch cameras out, leave the tripod exactly alone, and show you the difference in the camera real quick. So that is exactly on the tripod as the other camera was. Well, the sound sucks on it. I'm pretty anxious myself to see exactly how different this is. The little bit I've used this camera, I've realized I've got to get it a lot closer to what I'm filming than my other camera. So thanks for hanging around while I talk to you here for a while and let's get back to that on-site footage, shall we? I think this footage is just dark because of that window over there. I'm gonna make each one of these clips a little bit longer than what I normally do. Just so you can kind of see what the camera is doing a little bit better.
Here I was trying to show you my overhead weld I just made, but that sun was just the wrong angle. Can't see anything under there. Oh, there was a weld I made on top. The ones underneath look just like that, only upside down. A little bit of uphill welding with 7018 there. And an overall view of what I've been doing. It doesn't really show up on this camera, but I'm on a pretty good hill here. Well, the gate doesn't latch quite like it's supposed to, but it's a 14 foot long gate. And that has quite a bit of bounce in it. So what I normally do is put a cable from here up to that corner. Kind of like around point. Just like this cable. On, sleepy dog. Come on, let's go in the air conditioning. Cool off. It's 85 degrees is just too miserable, isn't it? Well, don't be so excited about the air conditioner. <laughs>